One issue I see constantly with Shopify stores when it comes to an SEO perspective is product tags. You've probably seen these before. Here's how they look when you edited a product. And what these usually are used for is for one, organizing products internally. If you want to tag them different things, you can assign them, organize them, everything like that. And two, certain apps and add-ons basically will use these. For example, you can have one that sets the product to hidden so it doesn't show in a product, but it's used for a specific functionality within that app default or third party apps basically. And that's pretty cool and I don't have any problems with that whatsoever. The problem really comes in SEO and that is if you're just creating them for organization purposes, especially if you're using them on the front end of the store, which you see sometimes where I say like filter by and you have a selection of tags basically being filtered by like certain colors, certain sizes, certain weights or anything like that. The problem is with that. And the reason is, is because by default, every single one of these tags is indexable. And that's the big, big, big problem. Because let's say you have this one product in five different collections, then multiplied across 500 different products. Well, suddenly all those tags apply to all of the different collections. And again, every single tag across all these different products. So what happens is suddenly you can have 100, 200 pages, and that's only with like five tags. Some pages have like 30 different tags across all their different products. Suddenly you have hundreds of pages being indexed in the Google search engine or other search engines, right? And the problem with these pages is they outright suck. And I don't mean this from like a mean way or anything. I mean, from an SEO perspective, they're low quality, thin content, junk pages. Here's why. If you open up any of these pages, here's how they'll look by the way, it'll be slash collections, slash the name of that collection, slash the name of the tag. So for example, it could be uwebsite.com slash collections, slash, I don't know, um, sofas slash red or orange or color underscore red or color underscore cream, right? That's your tags, that's how they'll be organized in a URL. And you're gonna have tons and tons and tons of these. You can do a quick Google search to find them all on your site. And basically these pages suck and they suck because if you open it up and look at it, the title of the page is like color underscore red and it's not optimized whatsoever. The title tag would be like sofas tagged color underscore cream and there's no unique content on there. There's no way of adding new content to there. And the page basically again sucks. So. It really just isn't SEO friendly. Usually I see this across almost all Shopify stores, even some really big household name brands and stuff. Look at the Shopify stores, they have all these product tags and every single one of them are all indexable. And again, this can be like two or three in some stores, but in many cases, this is 100, 200, 300 different tags, all indexable, all low quality pages that don't really need to be there and add no value to search engines, therefore reducing the overall quality of the site and really just wasting crawl budget, which is a whole technical SEO thing. We don't really need to go into too much detail in this video. So what should you do about this? Well, you may still want to use product tags just for, again, allowing people to filter them down or just for internal organization. But what can you do about it? Well, up until recently, the solution was very simple. It was to set them to no index follow or to do some really hacky customization with a the theme and essentially use these tags as a way of adding additional functionality to the store. There's a few stores I've seen doing this, but it's really, really difficult. It's not for typical users because it requires development, but the only upside of that really is it allows you to have proper URL directories because by default, again, every single collection is slash collection slash the name of the collection. So you have collection slash leather sofas. But let's say you want to have a, a cream leather sofas section, right? Well, let's say you have sofas, then leather sofas. Well, you have such collections slash sofas, then you have another one slash collections slash leather sofas. What would be really, really nice if you could have a slash collections slash sofas slash leather, right? Then you can have slash whatever other materials are um, for sofas, right? And that would allow you to have a proper directory structure, which default isn't built into Shopify. They can do that though using tags. The problem is again, it's not really designed for that. And I really wouldn't recommend it in most cases, unless again, you're a developer and you, you know how to do that properly because it gets kind of complicated to customize everything. So by default, here's what I recommend. Again, before we would set them to no index follow. Nowadays, however, there is actually some really good news. So very recently Shopify enabled customizing the robots.txt file, which basically 
controls how robots will crawl your website, as in robots like search engines. So what you can do then is now you can set it to block crawling or product tags. So from a user perspective, they're still there, they're still visible, they're still usable for filtering down products when you're on a collection page. But for search engines, they can see that the option's there, but they can't follow any links, can't open up those pages, you can't crawl them. So suddenly you have all these pages there, but they're not being crawled, so you're not wasting crawl budget, so there's no real issue with it whatsoever. So really, this is the perfect solution, and practically every single Shopify store should be doing this. Again, besides the technical ones that are doing a little bit of custom development, but for the most part, you should absolutely do this. This is one of the first things when you set up your store. And if you have an existing store, you probably already have this issue, so I highly recommend you go ahead and implement this. And what I'll do is I'll include a link to the video firstly, so you can go check it out somewhere on this video. We can go check out the video where it shows how to custom your robots to txt file and it also shows how the, to uh, gives you the code literally to go ahead and do that and block the product tags from being indexed now again this isn't to say that product tags are bad i'm not saying delete the product tags in fact i actually recommend using them again for internal organization and also for apps sometimes it can be really really helpful the alternative i guess is you could also use meta fields which aren't indexable and don't have the same problem but really they're a little bit slower and usually product tags are just more supported. So I recommend use your product tags, set up product tags, but block them from being crawled so you don't cause any SEO issues. So in short, product tags are awesome, but they're not SEO friendly whatsoever. And guess what? It's really easy to fix that by just blocking them from being crawled. And all it is is a simple little rule in a robots.txt, which you can customize now. It's absolutely possible as of recently. You can go ahead and do that and you can block them all from being crawled. Suddenly it reduces hundreds of low quality pages on your store almost instantly. Very, 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 very simple fix. That's all I really want to talk about. Again, product tags are great. Use them but make sure you're blocking them on a robots.txt level. That's a nice, simple video and a really common Shopify SEO issue that I see all the time. So I highly recommend you go ahead and fix that. If you'd like to see more tutorials on how to set up Shopify for SEO purposes, make sure to check them out on this channel. Not only that, you also have a massive 7,000 word guide to all things Shopify SEO that you can read on legix.com. We'll include a link below in the description to that. That is my agency site. If you do need any help with this, we can also go ahead and either review your site for a custom 10 minute review video or do a full on SEO campaign to do all of this for you. Depends what you need help with and if we're a good fit to work together. So let me know if you like this video again, please do me a favor, tap the like button below, it really helps out with the algorithm. And aside from that, I will see you in the next video.